The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, says it has uncovered religious organizations laundering money for terrorists in the country. The commission also said it secured a total of 747 convictions out of over 2,000 petitions accepted within the last 100 days. The chairman of the commission, Ola Ulukwede, stated this at the launch of the interfaith manuals aimed at enhancing the fight against corruption in Nigeria. Trust TV's Yusuf Akogo reports. These eminent Nigerians, religious leaders and young people are gathered here to drum support for the EFCC and the fight against corruption in the country. Speaking at this one-day dialogue on anti-corruption, the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ola Ulukoyede, who appreciates the support of Nigerians, said the fight against corruption requires all hands to be on deck. The EFCC's boss revelation that some religious bodies are providing protection for terrorists has put question mark on some religious sects in the country. As a matter we are handling, a pyramid scheme that involves over, over 30 billion naira fleeced from Nigeria. Along the lines of people die, some victims in the collapse and all of that. We were able to trace about seven, over 7 billion to a particular religious body. And so what did I do? I said, look, write a letter to the leader of that religious sect. We did. And the next thing we saw was uh, a restraining order. The money traced to that religious organization to, to, to their leaders. We got a restraining order stopping us from inviting them. Stopping us from recovering the money. Traditional and religious leaders here are calling on young people to be agents of change in the society while adhering to the virtue of honesty. Let us demonstrate very clearly always by our way of life that honesty is possible and rewarding. Moral education, therefore, is key to empowering the youth with the right, timeless value to make ethical decisions and hold themselves and others accountable for their actions. As religious leaders, we invite you for a closed-door interactive session on what we should do as religious leaders at the direct level when we do meet, so that all the Christian and Islamic leaders will be there to really talk with you, discuss with you in a constructive manner, so that you will really tell us the truth about so many of the things that we here or we read in social media and what you think we could do. And then we can now go back to our churches and mosques and other places to really fight this corruption. We are the problems of this country. We are the problems of actually the mineral that we are showing the youth because they do believe that nobody is there for them. Nobody is standing for them. So why can't they go into so many immoral acts? Yahoo, Yahoo, and all what of you. A lot of cyber crime. Because there is a clear disconnect between the leaders and the left. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who was represented by the vice president, Kashim Shetima, said young people, traditional institutions and religious leaders must join government and other relevant agencies to ensure that corruption is reduced to the barest minimum. The government is aware that our ambitious goal of eradicating internet offenses and corruption demands an atmosphere steep in trust and integrity. We must foster open communication channels and ensure that law enforcement actions align with justice and accountability. We must always remind our young people that abundant opportunities for lawful enterprises exist within and beyond our shores. There is a unanimous agreement among stakeholders here that for Nigeria to move forward and compete globally, the fight against corruption must be fought and won collectively. Yusuf Akogu, Trust Television News, Abuja.